say goodbye to hours spent fixing messy code, and hello to a streamlined workflow. Join us in this video today as we explore the magic of Prettier and how to transform your coding experience. In this video, we'll guide you through using Prettier, an incredible code formatter that will save you time and effort by automatically formatting your code. Learn how to install and configure Prettier to fit your coding style, integrate it with Git, and even use it alongside other linters. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. All right, let's kick things off by installing and setting up Prettier in VS Code. First, we're gonna to go to the Extensions tab in VS Code, and then search for Prettier. Here we can see that it's the first extension with over 31 million installs. We're gonna click Install, and that's it. Prettier is now installed. Now that Prettier is installed, let's make sure it's the default formatter for VS Code. We'll open up the Settings menu. We'll come down, click on the gear icon, and click on settings, and then we'll search for formatter. We can see that the default formatter here is set to none, and we will change that to prettier. Now that prettier is all set up, let's make it even better by enabling format on save. This allows you to save time and ensure your code is always formatted. We'll go ahead and close out the settings. And now if I take the super ugly JSON code and save it, it gets automatically formatted. If you have specific files or folders you don't want Prettier to format, you can create a .prettier ignore file in your project's root directory. This will work similar to the git ignore file. So here we'll create a file and name it .prettier ignore. And I'll just go ahead and throw the node modules in here. If you want to make sure that your code looks consistent across all of your projects, then using a Prettier configuration file is a great idea. Basically, this file saves the prettier settings and you can share it with other members of the team so that everyone's code looks the same. This way you don't have to worry about inconsistent formatting. Let's take a look at how to do that now. To create a prettier configuration file, simply create a new file in your project's root directory. There are several naming options to choose from depending on your preferred format. .prettierrc is the default file name for prettier configuration files. The format will be determined based on the extension, like .json or .yaml. If no extension is provided, prettier will try to parse it as if it's a JSON file. There is also an order of precedence with the prettier configuration file. This order is JavaScript, YAML, JSON, and a file without extension. So if you have multiple configuration files, this is the order you can expect it to go in. Another thing to note, when prettier is run, it looks for a configuration file starting from the current files directory and traverses up the directory tree until it finds one or reaches the root directory. Prettier has a set of default settings that will be used if no configuration file is present or if certain options are not specified in the configuration file. You can find the default values in the Prettier documentation. Here we can see that the tab width is defaulted to 2 and that tabs are turned off by default. So let's go ahead and create a Prettier configuration file for this project. I'm going to create it in the root directory and name it dot prettier rc. I'm just going to leave off the file extension for this one. So we can see here that VS Code automatically knows this should be formatted as JSON. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to set the print width 100 and enable single quotes. Now that we've covered prettier configuration files, let's dive into some popular options you may want to customize for your project. Keep in mind you can find all of these options on the Prettier website under Configuring Prettier. Print Width. This option controls the maximum line length. The default value is 80, but you can adjust it to your preferred line width. Tab Width. This option sets the number of spaces per indention level. The default is 2, but you can increase or decrease this value based on your preferences. For example, I'm going to set it to 4 here. Semi. This option controls whether to add a semicolon at the end of every statement. The default value is true, but if you prefer not to use semicolons, set this option to false. Trailing comma. This option controls the trailing commas in lists and objects. The default value is ES5, which means trailing commas are added where allowed in ES5 syntax. You can change this value to none to disable trailing commas or to all to add trailing commas in all possible places. These are just a few options that you can customize in your Prettier configuration file. Be sure to check out the Prettier documentation for a complete list of all the options you can customize. If you're already using ESLint or TSLint to enforce coding standards and catch errors in your code, you may want to integrate Prettier with them. Prettier is focused on formatting 
where linters like ESLint are focused on quality. Combining them can make your coding experience more streamlined. Here's how to do it. To integrate Prettier with ESLint, you need to install the ESLint plugin and ESLint config packages. The ESLint plugin package runs Prettier as an ESLint rule, while the configuration package disables any ESLint rules that might conflict with Prettier. We can install these packages by running npm install dash dash save dash dev ESLint dash plugin dash Prettier space ESLint dash config dash Prettier. And then include the following settings in your ESLint RC JSON file. This configuration will ensure Prettier and ESLint work together seamlessly in your project. If you're using TypeScript and TSLint, you can also integrate Prettier using the TSLint plugin Prettier package. First, install the package by running npm install dash dash save dash dev TSLint dash plugin dash Prettier. And then update your TSLint JSON configuration file to include the following settings. If you're using StyleLint for CSS or SAS, you might want to integrate Prettier with it. Just install the StyleLint config Prettier package to disable any StyleLint rules that might conflict with Prettier. Again, to do that, we'll run npm install dash dash save dash dev StyleLint dash config dash Prettier. And then update your StyleLint RC to extend the StyleLint config Prettier package. Prettier is already pretty amazing by itself, but it gets even better with plugins. They let you format different types of code that Prettier doesn't support by default. I'll leave a link in the description below to a full list of the Prettier plugins you can install. Just install any of these plugins using NPM and Prettier will automatically use them to format your code. Make sure that you update your Prettier configuration file with any settings that you need for the plugins. Using Prettier with Git ensures that your whole team formats their code before pushing any changes to the repository. I'll show you how to set this up. To get started, we need to install two packages, Husky and LintStage. These packages help us to automate the Prettier process as a pre-commit hook. Husky lets us define Git hooks easily, and LintStage runs tasks on staged files. To install these packages, just run npm install dash dash save dash dev husky space lint dash staged. Now it's time to configure Husky and Lint staged. This is pretty easy. You just need to add some code to your package.json. We'll come down to the end of the package.json file and drop in this code here. This configuration will run prettier on staged files with the specified file extensions during the pre-commit stage. Feel free to modify the file extensions list to match the type of files you're using in your project. For example, if your project also uses Python, you can add Pi to the list of extensions. With the configuration in place, Prettier will automatically format your staged files before each commit. This ensures that your entire team's code is consistently formatted before it's pushed to the repository. If you want to use a different Prettier configuration for the pre-commit hook, you can create a separate configuration file and specify it in the lint stage configuration. For example, I named my file pre-commit prettier config.js. So in the lint stage, I'm just going to add dash dash config pre dash commit dash prettier dot config js. If you encounter issues with the prettier and git integration, you can use the no verify flag when committing to bypass the pre-commit hook. This can be useful for debugging and troubleshooting, but keep in mind it should only be used as a temporary solution and not regular practice. And that's it. We've gone over everything you need to know on how to format your code perfectly using prettier. If you like this video about prettier, then go check out my last video on the best VS code extensions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.